Hey, 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 you guys. I know I look different. Let me zoom in some girl. This is different. A lot has happened. This is a chit chat video. Girl, go ahead and get your snacks, get your beverages. Um, my hair is dirty. We're gonna put her down some so y'all can see. This hair is dirty. It's been probably uh, almost a month since I've done something with my hair. <laughs> Girl. So y'all, y'all know how this chit chat goes. We talk about what's going on in my personal life. We talk about what I'm watching on YouTube and what I'm watching on TV. So y'all, while we're doing this, I'm going to be organizing my nails. Oh, sorry y'all. I'm going to be organizing my nail stuff so that I can do my nails later on. I ain't doing it now because I'm busy. A lot has happened. Let me put this hair back up, girl. I'm high. If things look different, first off, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> if things look different, that's because we have moved. We have moved into our short-term lease apartment out here in lovely Phoenix, Arizona. Girl, but these prices ain't lovely. Oh my God. I know that most of you are aware where you're at, the price for rentals, for apartment rental is skyrocketing. It is absolutely crazy. Um, we're paying 2100 for short-term lease. Typically, it would be 1800 Even that's expensive. Hell, that's, both of those are more than what our mortgage was. Um, if I hear anything bubbling, it's plumbing because I'm in the bathroom. This is the only place I could feel that. So we moved from an almost 2,000 square foot home into our 1,100 square foot apartment. Honey, most of the stuff that was in my woman's shed, she room, get the hell out of my face room, it's in storage. We had to put all of the decorations, pictures in storage. Um, we sold our treadmill, um, massage chair is at my neighbor's house. So yeah, we had a lot of big furniture. The dining room table is in the um, storage unit. And so yeah, paying monthly for that and change, but it is what it is. So our home went up for sale a couple of days ago. We are very excited, um, a little bittersweet because that is our first home together. It is the only home that JB has known. And so I think JB's a little sad about moving to you guys, but he's also excited. He really is. So girl, it's kind of hot in the bathroom. Anyway, he's still, he's excited about it. And so everyone back home is excited. My friends and family are ecstatic with us moving. And so, yeah, we're hoping to get bang for our buck because look, we got our house very very affordable under 200 and when i tell you these high houses are going for way over 450. so um yeah y'all look honey it is tiring when i and i know a couple of you and a girl i know who you are you you recently you and your husband you commented on my videos you and your husband um recently got a house it is tiring moving and mind you the hell the person upstairs sorry y'all mind you it's been a while since we both have moved together and we have acquired we're we don't really have a lot of stuff but it doesn't matter so yeah it is what it is we, we made it work we're here so the move happened um jb has uh entered the school school i use that lightly so y'all there's no way in between the move in between looking for a new house my job is getting busy um just a lot of personal stuff going on i just i honestly didn't do any homeschooling the last two weeks because i didn't have the time and so when i tell you everything i know i keep saying this everything happens for a reason god will direct you your steps if you give it to him okay and I, I honestly do believe that and i know this in my heart okay so i encourage you um so i was a little upset because i'm like i can't homeschool anymore and when i tell you I, I was upset i was upset i was crying i felt like a failure even jb at one point i'm getting choked up y'all even jb at one point he was like, mama, do you think I'm not learning? I am learning. Don't, don't let that be the only reason you put me back in school. I said, oh baby, thank you. So at first I tried to look into public schools, public schools, speaking to other moms there and the COVID numbers are out of control. Y'all, I know they're out of control everywhere, but 
Phoenix is crazy um, and it's affecting the staff. There's hardly any staff available. The teacher turnover is going up. The kids are going uh, out. So long story short, connected with uh, someone I know on Facebook who's just out here in Phoenix and she told me that her kid goes to a micro school and I had looked into this micro school before and I just you know, it's like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and homeschool. Well, now it's the opportunity. So I reached out to the, to the director, very lovely woman, older woman in her probably uh, early 60s, very, very lovely, lovely individual. She's an advocate here. She's a um, uh, civil rights right up my alley, right? Spoke to her in length about what's going on. And she said, we absolutely have room for him. They have several micro schools here in the Valley that they've opened. And they've been partnering with uh, what's called Prenda that has their own curriculum. And the reason why I was a little suspicious at first because Prenda had been in the headlines because we wasn't sure, okay, is this legit or what? But actually they are because they get funding from the from the government. And the government don't play about their money, excuse me, for the um from the state. Yeah, the state don't play about their money. So you gotta be legit in order to get that funding as a school, right? So even better. Um, this particular school partnered with another school in downtown Phoenix to where it's basically four micro schools in this building. And so JB is part of this school, one of the schools, excuse me, that only has 10 people in his classroom. 10, there's a teacher and a, um, what do you call it, a teacher's aide. Um, and the teacher, I spoke with her in length and she's been teaching public school out here in the Valley for five or six years. And baby, the icing on the cake, I could cry y'all. The icing on it on the cake, and this is JB's first black teachers, and this is the first time where he was not the only black boy in the classroom. So amen to that. Um, I and like I said, I can tell where you know, so he enjoyed it. I was a little nervous yesterday was his first day, so I picked him up. I'm like, how was it, baby? He's like, it was good, I liked it. I'm like, oh. Thank God. It is school in a non-traditional setting. They have bean bags, they have couches. They spend about 90 minutes on their own laptops learning. Um, if they read, they go to the to a bean bag. I mean, it's very, they can choose what they wanna do. The teacher did tell me that they're gonna go ahead and assess him because I told her that so I'm, I'm a little cautious because in certain areas he's in first grade, second grade, and in certain areas he's in third grade. And so she's like, no, let's just go ahead and put him in third grade so that he could be socially and emotionally with other kids his age. And we'll just work with him. I'm like, okay, cool. So looking at his work he brought home, I could definitely see a difference. And he, he even told me that he likes working with other kids. So, you know, you have to work with, figure out what works best for your child. And in this type of setting, this works best for him. Again, it's called a micro school and it is legit. I looked it up, honey. They use, they do use um, standardized curriculum, um, and, but again, they tailor it to the learning needs of the child. So yeah, we're happy about that, girl. And now I need to really get back on the self-care bandwagon. Um, I kind of slipped off because I've been so focused on doing everything else, right? So I hadn't been doing my facials. I hadn't been doing my feet. I mean, just, I haven't been taking care of myself. Not just appearances. I haven't been sitting down, meditating, doing my stretches. I just haven't been taking care of myself. So today I went to go work out. The gym here is banging. I mean, they have everything. They even offer spin classes. I'm like, yeah, for $2,000 a month, I better lose weight. <laughs> The gym here is amazing. So my husband and I go work out in the morning. Um, I do a little bit of, of I'm starting slow, because mind you, I haven't worked out in a while, y'all. Like months. So I start on the cardio, I do cardio for a little bit, and then I do some weights. And so my goal is to lose 25 pounds. I need to lose 25, minimum 25 pounds, because I'm sitting at a good size. I haven't gained any weight. If anything, I've lost weight since, you know, y'all haven't talked to me. <laughs> I've lost weight, I've lost like two pounds, but I need to get down to a, a healthier size. I mean, I'm at a size, as far as dress size, I'm a 10. 
I need to be like a 6'8". Like seriously, like I'm only 5'2", you guys. Like I have a small frame. I know I have a bigger than life personality, but I have a small frame. So a size 6'8 will look good on me. Size 10, 12, I'm looking still, I'm looking very full. <laughs> that look good. And my husband ain't complaining. But this is about health, okay? So yeah, girl, that's what's been going on. Let me show y'all some um, product reviews that are coming up. I know y'all want to know what, 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 what type of hair products you doing. Okay, hold on, girl. Hold on. All right, you guys. So, for sh Oh, hell, I forgot. I thought this fell over, child. Hold on, y'all. Let me move this nail stuff out the way. I'm going to do my nails on the way on tonight. Um, so yeah, this is going to be interesting because I used to do my reviews in a bathroom um a while back so yeah let me know if the lighting and everything looks okay so we already know what we talked about um as far as personal life so coming up as far as product reviews now since jb is, is in the school and it's kind of quiet here i do have the time girl apartment living is not for the faint of heart <laughs> but i do have the time to do it so I have three products here I'm going to show y'all and somebody sent me some mystery stuff. Was this UT? Did you send me this? I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Hold on y'all. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all. So y'all know what's coming up. We have the Dabor Batika Wild Cactus Deep Conditioning. Let's let that zoom in some. This will, is coming up. Okay. Deep Conditioner. Let me look at this y'all. Okay. It's sealed. We ain't going to open it up. We'll wait to the review. Excited to try this. We have the Ajwa Bailment Deep Conditioning Treatment. I know y'all been waiting on this for months. This will come before the Dabora Batika. And then baby, I don't know how I'm gonna do a shower video in here, but I guess I can. Um, Cause I have two wash day videos I wanna film. I'm looking over here y'all, I'm sorry. I have two wash day videos I wanna, want, want to film. And technically, yes, you can review products outside of the shower but for me personally i find that if you're going to do a review of a shampoo and conditioner your hair needs to be under steady stream of water right don't you agree with that yeah i thought you did so suaves luscious curls shampoo okay so again in order agua da barbatica suave and then i have another wash day video i think i'm gonna do affordable hair care um, cause I think I have some cream of nature stuff in there. Yeah, I need to get rid of stuff. Like when I tell you, let me show you. This right here was full, both of these was full of hair products. I can't take that. I, I can't pack that for Texas. So I gotta use as much as possible. So one of you or somebody, I didn't see anything on the note. Let me see, sent me some products. I was trying to look for your email girl cause I, I used to have it. Um, let me know if you sent this to me, T, or if you, if, you know, let me know. Someone sent me the complete line, um, but the travel size of the pattern by Tracy Ellis Ross. Did I say her name right? Yeah. So we have her Hydrate Mist. We have a Curl Gel. Grind or go over all this. We've got shampoo, conditioner leave-in conditioner okay um styling cream now this stuff is travel size so it will probably get used in one usage girl all this hair strong gel did i get a note in here i didn't even check to see girl i don't know who sent to you guys so if it was you t thank you i really appreciate this and no i will not be doing a review on these products because they have mixed reviews did y'all see that but even then i don't want to review that so in addition to the products that i showed you that i'm going to be reviewing nezzy aka angel nezzy naps she was telling me that she recently used and i saw her video of the blue magic cholesterol and it was I didn't, first of all i didn't even i didn't even know that blue magic made cholesterols did y'all know them but um, I didn't even know that Blue Magic made cholesterols. And so she said it was really good for her hair. So um, I'm going to copy her. And <laughs> I'm going to copy her and um, buy one of those like later on closer to the winter time. Because I probably, this is going to stretch out just those three, three reviews, including the affordable wash day. I'm going to stretch that out, y'all, over three or four months. It is what it is. Um, 
there was something else I want to bring up as far as oh styling hair video so yes um okay I'm looking down you guys I had no idea I was gonna do that flexi rod and take one of um Busby's videos for the flexi rod set I don't know what I do with my flexi rods I have no idea where they're at if I can find them I will do the video. I'm not buying any more because I have tons of them. They're packed away somewhere. So hopefully I will find them and do a flexi rod set. If not, y'all want to see a, a jumbo perm rod set? Let me know in the comments. So yes, that's hair related videos coming up. Golly. All right, y'all. What I'm watching on YouTube, girl, nothing, nothing. I'm trying to think of what, let me look at my history. JB's looking at a bunch of stuff. Girl, what do y'all think about the Met Gala? They're just not, this is like the day afterwards, by the way, and they're showing all the pictures. First of all, why in the hell did Kim Kardashian come up looking like some, we all know she's a witch. I guess she's, she's in true form then, is what she was doing. Um, let me see y'all what I'm watching on YouTube. Um, yeah, the Met Gala was yesterday, and I guess they're showing all the pictures best dressed. I don't know you guys I try not to be a conspiracy theorist I try not to be that way but there is just something very and maybe it's just it's just highly weird you know what I mean I don't get I don't know it's just something very odd about that entire what do you even call it that entire event it's just very odd and strange to me I'm like can we go back to wearing ball gowns and nice black tuxedos do you have to come out and I get they have a theme every year, right? They have a theme, like it's damn Halloween. Do um, you have to come out walking around with a lampshade on your head, though? What the hell? Like, mm, I know, I'm not feeling it. But anyway, not really watching much on YouTube. That's why I was going to look at my history. Child, but Jamie took over my phone. I'm not really watching YouTube. Oh, this is what I am watching on YouTube. I'm watching old episodes of Divorce, Divorce Court with Judge Lynn. I'm addicted to it. I can't stop watching it. Um, yeah, old episodes of Divorce Court, y'all. These people are crazy in these relationships. That's about it. I'm not really watching a lot. I did catch a few of African Exports videos, and he's really blowing up when it comes to his feeds, but I haven't really caught anything live from him lately. Um, I'm noticing a couple of people coming back and leaving, coming back and leaving. I noticed that, that Shari J said that she would... Shari J... Is she going to cut her hair again? Like, did she get damaged or something, y'all? Don't quote me on that. Um, girl, you need to stop going to Tasha. What's that, what's that white girl name? <laughs> Is, you know what? No. You know how she got damaged the first time? Remember when she did the cream of nature? Did she do the cream of nature, you guys? When, when, was it cream of nature or African pride that came out that line, came out with a line of hair color? She did it. I remember they sent some stuff to my stylist, Arlette Pender, and she wanted to color my hair, and I said, no. I said, no, I'm not going to put it. She she already knew it. She's like, yeah, I kind of figured she wouldn't do it. I said, no, I don't. Yeah, so Shari J posted like a couple of months ago, should I cut my hair? But back then, she went and when she had the coloring, she had the coloring done, then she had the straightening, then she had some, it was just too much back to back. And I'm sure it messed up her veracity. But lately, I don't think she's really just been taking good care of her hair. And I know that she's had a lot of loss. Speaking of Shari J, she has experienced a lot of loss over the few years. I mean, getting out of that relationship. Then her father died. Then her mother died. Um, and so that can all have a devastating effect on your body and your hair. Um, and you know, we've all seen, at least I think some of us have seen some of the videos of people who, uh, sometimes the title may be, uh, she hasn't washed her hair in six months or she hasn't detangled her hair. A lot of that is due to depression, you guys, you know what I mean? A lot of people, not a lot, but some people would neglect their, their hair and their body. They're just, when they're under, under severe depression and it happens. Okay. It, it happens. And so, yeah, that's really sad. So I hope, I, I don't know if Shari, I'm not saying that Shari J is depressed. I don't want to put that out there. I'm just saying that your mental state, how you are dealing with things can have a effect on your physical appearance. Does that make sense? We all know that by now. So anyway, enough of that. What I'm watching on TV. Girl, I've been watching a lot of TV. 
<laughs> not watching a lot of YouTube, but watching a lot of TV. So let me tell y'all what I'm watching, okay? Nine Perfect Strangers. This show is giving me so much anxiety. Like, I'm like, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna, like, I'm waiting for someone to just show up or I'm waiting for them. Okay, let me, let me back up and tell y'all who's in it. Nicole Kidman, finance, he ain't on my side of the team. Luke Evans, y'all, I always thought that Luke Evans was so fine to me. Sure. Melissa McCarthy, I'm looking down. Um, Michael Shannon, Regina Hall, some other people that I really don't know, Melvin Gregg is the brother. Nicole Kidman, of course, is the headliner. So Nicole Kidman is running this tranquility spa, like so you can come and face your inner issues and get healing. Some kumbaya shit, yeah. So, but it's really interesting. Like she's give. I don't want to give it a lot away, but it's the unknown that's making me a little. Mm -mm, what's going? What's going to happen, right? So I'm on episode, what episode are we on y'all? Like episode five or six? I'm keeping up with it cause I like it. it. Comes on every Wednesday, it's on Hulu. So yes, yes, it's called Nine Perfect Strangers, okay? Honey, I don't know how I feel about this. Clickbait, clickbait. Did y'all realize the black woman was the woman from Get Out? No, 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 no. The um, housekeeper. Yeah, I didn't recognize her at first, but clickbait is on Netflix Very interesting very different Um, Again, I'm not gonna give any spoilers. It was good. It, I was on the edge of my seat But I'm not sure if I liked how it turned. I really didn't like that I, I, I know I'm not with the masses when I say that, but I don't like the way, I don't like the, the surprise at the end. I didn't like the surprise, but overall, it was still a pretty good sitcom. Excuse me, a pretty good series. Um, and Clickbait, I believe, is on Netflix. Honey, A-H, A-H-S. First of all, you have, again, that stands for American horror stories you have the american horror stories the series and i believe we're on season 10 but then you have ahs ahs i can't talk um where they do a different type of show every episode don't really care for that one but i still am watching it but this one i don't i'm not sure what the theme is again i don't know if these are vampires i don't know if these are um Child, I don't know what they are. So it still has some of your regular characters. You, let me find the cast, y'all. Sarah Paulson, I was close. Lily Rabe, Evan Peters. Um, you have Francis Conroy, Matthew McCon no, Matt, Matt, Matthew, um, Macaulay Culkin. Y'all, Macaulay Culkin is in it. So, uh, very interesting. Again, the theme, I, I don't want to give any spoilers away if you're interested by the theme. I'm not even sure what they're supposed to be, girl. But it's, I like it. I like this season. It's not too dark. I can roll with it. I'm not that scared. I can get it. I can dig it, okay? So, yes. Um, besides that, I watched False Positive with that fine-ass Pierce, whatever. Um, he's just, girl, I follow him on... <laughs> What else did I watch that made me laugh? I watched Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. I love that movie. It's just a cute movie. Um, besides that, you guys, you know that was what well, really, really was sad that occurred within the past week or so. And my heart just breaks for her. It's the passing of Greg Leakes, Nene Leakes' husband. I mean, I I personally was watching um, Real Housewives of Atlanta's from the first season. I stopped around season seven because then it got a little old. So I saw him, you know, and I got to know who he was and he was just a really good stand-up guy. Even when they went through, the, through their divorce and got remarried, I could really just tell that, and again, we don't know what happens behind closed doors, but he always stood up for Nene. You know what I mean? He always had her back. Um, and I could really tell that they were just, madly in love I'm following Nene on Instagram and she was posting separate times and I, I, I can only imagine I didn't know that his cancer had returned I had no idea um and that's just sad that really is so prayers out to her it's 
<sighs> that's a lot I couldn't imagine I just couldn't imagine that so on that note you guys that is it I don't want to leave it too somber but I hope you guys are doing well please stay safe out there and be on the lookout for these reviews they're coming baby all right you guys take care bye